Michigan, and he is sharing the inside scoop on uh, onions in Michigan. So, first up, I'm going to use my nose because I'm going to scan it. First thing we'd like to know is how long have you been in the onion business? Oh, about 40 some years. 40 some years? That's a long time. Yeah, it's a family farm, so I'm kind of. Storability onion. It, we are marketing will be anywhere from now until well, they actually will store until May if they're stored in the cool, dry conditions. They can be packed all the way through the next May. And uh, it's more of an onion that will caramelize. It'll, it's what we call more flavorful. It's a lot stronger, richer flavor than a Vidalia or a type of sweet onion will have. And uh, it actually, I think, more is a onion that adds a flavor to a dish rather than. I mean, we go through pounds of them every week. Yeah, I do too as well. It's just one of my favorites. I, I say the, the best seasoning is an onion and some garlic. Yes. Some days it depends Sometimes which one's going to be more, but yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Aren't you glad you didn't feed us onions or garlic today? That's true. But you had your good taste of onions. So. Yes, we did have a good taste of some fresh onions. I'm about knocking you out That's now, right. I think. I had a reader ask um, if you've ever, if you've always grown this variety, or if you if you have changed that over the years. Well, it's kind of hard to say a variety. Um, this is a yellow cooking long day onion. There has probably been 500 to 1,000 different variations of this mm -hmm. in the last 100 years, and there might be parentages of all these. You know, there's always people that want to develop a better flavor or a better size and a more uni uniform size. So there's always breeding between the different types of long day onions. So I can't really say I've been the same variety. I've just been the same type always. Okay. That's fair enough How do you know when an onion is ready for harvest? These all look great well, to go. I mean, are these ready to just here, harvest you're, now? You're or? seeing an onion field that's probably about three weeks maybe from laying down. So this is about three weeks old. You'll okay. actually see an onion get to the point where it's bald, and the 
neck might be this tall, and you'll see the ball, the neck go down to the ball, but the ball will size up, and the neck will get weak and fall over. Okay. And it'll actually fall over, and you'll see a whole field of green laying on its side. Okay. And then that is a point where there's nothing to support the roots. Okay. So the roots are no longer giving nutrients as well, so the actual leaves will brown up. And as they brown up, that's when it's time to come in and harvest. Okay. You actually want to harvest them basically dried. <laughs> that's another fun fact for you. Here. Yeah, that's another fun fact for you. How many onions do you grow in a season? Like, how? I guess it might be easier to say acres. Let's not make you count how many onions. <laughs> you know, I thought that question was going to come up. So let me say it this way. There's supposed to be 200,000 plants to the acre. Okay. And I got 40 acres in this location. 200,000 plants right. to an acre, and you have 40 acres. So. Have one of the guys gets to the math here. See, I know it's been a long time since school, but I think it comes to eight million. All right, we're gonna put our our mathematic okay. data on that right now. <laughs> you update us in a minute. So there are two hundred thousand planted per acre, and there are forty acres. And Area just no, like raise your one, hand to let me zero. know when you got have that answer, and we're gonna move on for a moment. <laughs> How is a reader going to know? Is there a special way they would know that they're getting? Onions from Michigan when they go to a the lot store. Of it, a lot of it's going to be, you're going to see onions in a store, product of USA, but they're supposed to have a state of origin on the label. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, anywhere from September on in the Midwest, they're going to be an onion from the North, that Midwest area, and they're going to say which state they're from. But most of the onions in Michigan are going to be sold in like a three pound bag, maybe from a two to a three and a quarter inch onion mm -hmm. that is made for those that like to. Right. Uh, add flavor to the meal. And is the um, are you able to say where what what stores we would be likely to find them in? Or is that proprietary? No, no, not at all, not at all. Uh, all mine that I have here, the person that packs and grips ships for me, actually supplies a lot of the Aldi's divisions in the Midwest. My readers are big Aldi oh, fans. Yeah, Aldi's. <laughs> I got one just converted to be an Aldi yeah, shopper yeah. now, and she is she's loving so, it. <laughs> Aldi's has. It's amazing how much produce they go through, and all these has a farmer-friendly attitude where they don't mark it exorbitantly high. They mark it at a level where the, the farmer can make a decent amount of money, but also too it's very economical for the buyer. That's really good to know, yeah. especially because you never know when going into a store whether you know is the marketing a gimmick, is it real, and that it's it's always nice to know. All that just does a straight mark.
Does our mathematician have an answer for yep, us? Yep, we got that. We got eight million. So, so there yep. are eight million, eight million plants. Eight, eight million yep. onions grown on this that's farm. That's pretty good because year. I used a calculator and you did it on, on the paper. That's pretty good. It took only like ten seconds. It shows my teacher working. Ten seconds. 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 Ten seconds.
done. You're just done. So I have a few reader questions here. When an onion smells, is it newer or older? And I think we needed some clarification on that. So we're going to go with if the onion has not been cut. If I bought it at the store and I've had it for about, or, or I bought it at the store and I can smell the onion, it smells strongly. Do I want to buy that onion or do I not want to buy that onion? It depends, it depends on it on still depends. So but we were if not you grab that onion and it's nice and firm, nice and, and it firm. still has a smell and to it. it. But if you grab that onion and it's got a gooshiness, and, you, and as you're pushing on it, it gets it's a little, little longer. Long, get, and it's don't probably buy the onion. To the manager, it's probably, it's probably the best. Trade the stock. But no, um, an onion when it's green uh, here, when it first goes down, is going to be the strongest smelling than when it is at the store. And he can tell you we are all smelling like onion because we've been trying them straight from the field. You did today. notice that you taste the acidum and I didn't. <laughs> yes, he didn't taste them. But you know what? I've done it I'm before. not going to come to the farm and not try one, right? What is the best way to keep from crying when you chop an onion? Either get very immune to it because you did it all the time, or um, the best one yet, and I've told my wife to use is. Underwater. Underwater. Because what's happening is it's the uh, acids and uh, that that is spring of the air that's irritating the eyes and the sinus things. So water would make that dissipate. Because you go to a place where they're processing onions a lot, food service, there's always water coming out. All right, thank you. Yeah. Another reader says, I buy whatever onion is cheapest, but my husband prefers yellow. Is there a difference in the white and yellow? It's going to be... There can be a difference in flavor, but a lot of times it's going to be either cultural or ethnic of what you grew up with, what you had. What you grew up with. I mean, granted, a white one in certain dishes will look nicer than a yellow one, but a yellow one is going to be white inside, but not that white look. Whereas a red onion, they want to see that red ring that all really the way inside there, because that's yeah. part of the green look on the garbage. That's true. Do we have any other questions? Yes, uh, Laura would like to know, is that rain and wind? Well, <laughs> this is called lake effect rain, which is better than the lake effect snow we get in the wintertime, so it's both. <laughs> and it was 89 degrees yesterday with high humidity. Which Laura is problems. that? Samson. Laura Samson. She is from Alaska, so she knows snow. Yes. <laughs> And she probably knows what the different effects are on snow, and they got different names for it there than we do. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Any other questions? She All says right. ha ha. What was that? She uh, says ha ha. <laughs> Hi, Laura. Uh, Laura helped me pick some questions. She has a blog called, called Little House oh, very in cool. Alaska. Nice. About living. If I wasn't doing this job this time of year, that's where I want to be. You'd be in Alaska? Yes. There you go. But I, uh, it's the wrong time of year to visit in the winter time. Well, you let me know when you want to go to Alaska, and I'll see if I can Very connect good. the two of you, okay? Very good. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time You're today. You're it's been really fun, and I don't care about the rain. It's been so worth it. Put your face with my back to a soap. <laughs> I'm in the better shape. Thank you all. If you have any other questions, drop them in the comments, and I'll see if I can get answers for you later. Have a good afternoon.